welcome back in this video i will discuss uh, reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is a feedback based machine learning approach in this case uh, the agent will look into the environment based on the environment situation he will perform some actions for each action he will be given a feedback in the form of uh, rewards uh, for example uh, let us assume that he has performed some correct action then uh, he will be given a positive feedback if he has performed a negative action he will be given a negative feedback in this case or it's also called as the penalty in this case let us take an example here let us assume that the agent will look into this particular environment uh, situation based on that he will perform an action here so whenever he performs an action the agent will go from one state to other state for each of this particular action he will be given a reward that is also called as a feedback in this case the reward may be positive for example if he has performed a correct action he will be given positive reward it may be negative also that is whenever he has performed a incorrect action he will be given a negative reward in this case so in this example let us say that uh, the g is a goal state here and the agent is present in state e here the uh, the goal here is the agent has to go from this particular e to g here and he has to follow an optimal path over here let us say that uh, when he is present in this particular state he can take only one action that is a right moment he cannot go up he cannot go left he cannot go down in this case so he has to perform this particular action so when he perform this particular action because it is a correct action he will be given some positive reward here now when he comes to this particular thing he will look into this particular environment and then he will perform one of the action the one action is either he can perform up or he can perform down here whenever he perform up the meaning is again he is going towards this particular g the meaning is it's a correct action for this one also he will be given a positive reward or a positive feedback here but when he perform this action that is uh, from f to i the meaning is this is a uh, incorrect action for this one he will be given a negative feedback so whenever a negative feedback is given he will understand that he should not follow such path in future over here so that is how reinforcement learning works in this case in reinforcement learning as i said earlier the agent will interact with this particular environment and then he will identify one of the possible action and then he will perform that particular action over here for each of those particular action he will be given a positive or negative feedback in terms of rewards the main goal in this case is, is to get the maximum rewards as as much as possible over here in a reinforcement learning uh, we don't have any label data uh, that's the reason he has to learn through his experience uh, for example if he is getting a positive reward the meaning is uh, it's a correct action if he is getting a negative reward the meaning is it's a incorrect action so through this experience only the agent will learn in this case because we don't have anything called as a uh, label data over here but in supervised machine learning technique we have a label data using that label data the algorithm will be trained over there so in that case the experience doesn't matter much over there reinforcement learning can be used to solve a specific type of problems uh, where the decision making is a sequential that is step by step if you look at that previous example the agent will reach that particular goal step by step in that case he cannot go directly to that particular goal in that case so that's the reason if the decision making is sequential we can use uh, re reinforcement learning as well as it should be a long term like uh, you cannot expect the result immediately in this particular case so if it is a long term uh, goal then you can use the reinforcement learning in that case some of the examples where we can use uh, reinforcement learning is uh, game playing or you can use it in robotics also there are two types of uh, reinforcement learning we have uh, one is called as uh, positive reinforcement learning and second one is called as negative reinforcement learning positive reinforcement learning is a recurrence of behavior due to positive rewards in this case recurrence means the same behavior will be repeated again and again the reason here is uh, we have got the positive rewards in this case the positive rewards increases the strength and the frequency of uh, such actions will be repeated in the future over here because we got the positive rewards in this case that is what has been written here uh, these positive rewards encourages the uh, agent to perform the same actions and get the maximum reward over here similarly the negative reinforcement learning is the deterrent to weaken the behavior and to avoid that particular action to be performed in the future over here 
that is uh, whenever you have given a negative reward it will deterrent the action what has been performed over here and then uh, it should but not be performed in the future over here the dec uh, this uh, negative rewards will decreases the strength and uh, such action should not be performed in the future let us take an example of a maze game uh, in this particular maze game uh, let us assume that there are some uh, danger spots are there whenever uh, the agent has gone to a danger spot the meaning is he will lose that particular game so the thing over here is uh, the agent has to avoid uh, going to that particular uh, danger spots because whenever he go to that danger spots he will be given a negative rewards in this case let us assume that uh, whenever he goes to that particular danger spots uh, he will be given a minus 10 points and if he perform a correct actions let us say that he will be given a positive 10 points so positive 10 points will encourage the uh, agent to perform such actions and a negative 10 point will discourage the agent to perform the actions which will lead to what you can say that the danger spot or the person may lose the game over here the reinforcement learning is an example of uh, semi supervised learning you cannot say that it is a supervised machine learning technique or it is uh, unsupervised machine learning technique because in supervised machine learning technique we have a label data in unsupervised machine learning technique we don't have any labels over there but in the reinforcement learning we have uh, we don't have complete label data and we we cannot say that there is uh, no one to supervise here definitely the environment is there and then uh, these uh, rewards will uh, uh, encourage or discourage to perform some actions so that's the reason we can say that the negative reinforcement learning is a semi supervised machine learning technique in this case now the question is where we can use this uh, reinforcement learning we can use this uh, reinforcement learning uh, technique to solve uh, games or if you are uh, designing a robot in such cases we can use this uh, reinforcement learning let us take an example over here in this case uh, the g is a goal state and e is assume that e is the place where the agent is present and if you want to find an optimal path so that the agent can go from this particular state to this one that's a goal state in such cases we can use this uh, reinforcement learning so uh, whenever the agent is present in one state he has to find an action which will lead to this particular goal state here so that uh, in such cases we can use the input let us take one more example uh, in this case uh, we have been given three kind of things uh, the this is the goal state this is the block or can say that uh, uh, you, the user cannot cross this particular block here and this is uh, the danger spot here so given uh, the agent present in any one of these particular states uh, we need to find an optimal path so that the user can go through this particular uh, goal over here so in such kind of uh, uh, the situations we can use reinforcement learning over here now uh, if we have uh, the data where the complete information is available for example you are trying to solve a problem like object detection face recognition or uh, fraud detection where a complete information is available in the form of a data set in such cases uh, the reinforcement learning is not suitable there we can use uh, classifiers to solve that particular problems uh, that is nothing but uh, the supervised machine learning techniques we can use to solve such kind of problems rather than going with this particular reinforcement learnings in this case in this video i have discussed what is reinforcement learning and what are the problems can be solved with the help of reinforcement learning i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching